Well, how do the chums? I am playing Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, I'm quite far into this, so you can see there, the campaign, I'm at 49%. Okay, when I go into here, I've done all of the DFW campaign, and I'm doing this one right now, the Dominion campaign over at Biosyn. And it says there, I'm only 46% of the way through this. It's blinking big. Um, so if I just go to continue, I'm going to be hitting this up, people, and uh, jumping over into game. And I'm hoping he's going to be bringing you my best bits for this one. Now, this Biosyn one, this sanctuary that I'm actually working on right now, is a bit different to all the other ones that I've come across. You have to send away expeditions and have science teams. I mean, look at the size of this park that I've built. It's, it's bloody massive. It's huge, this park. So it's all connected to this hydro dam, and you have to connect to these hydro parts to the hydro dam. I mean, um, look, you see all this sort of underway underneath here, these carriages that are zooming around. Well, th yeah, I have to link all those together. It's the first time I've had to do this. And like I said, you have to send away mining teams to mine amber. And what I would say is you've got to sort of be a little bit careful with which creatures you bring into the park, because we need to sort of put these creatures in with nested creatures to stop them from tearing each other a new one. And the idea is you just got to unlock everything. So at the moment, I've, I've only got the last remaining mine level to do, level four. But to do that, I've got to get my park assets or operatives up to 150. I'm currently on 123. You can see down there, just below here, what I've actually got to do. But if I go inside of the research, you can see these research trees. I've also got one more dinosaur to research, but I've, I'm, I'm doing pretty good on this, basically, is what I'm saying, people. But it's taken me ages. I've probably been doing this for, like, I don't know, four hours or something? Which is freaking insane over the space of like two days. I haven't done it in one sitting. But you can see the size of my park here. I've got two sort of vacant areas here, which I'm hoping to put predators in. And now I'm thinking this one down here, I could put in, you know, those poisonous ones. I might stick them in here, down here. So let's go to the hatchery and let's have a look before I actually get the poisonous ones what they do and do not like. So over here, you can actually see it beforehand, which I kind of like. So I like forest, they like open spaces, they need prey and they need water. Well, the only thing that I haven't added into this area is prey. Now the prey costs about, what, 100,000 anyway to stick prey inside of this enclosure anyways, or something like that, which I don't really want to do right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go and mine the, uh, the, um, the amber, for those creatures. I've forgotten their blinking name though, because they've got a weird name. Is Dillo Phosphorus? I've got to learn these names, and I, I, I'm not very good at reading people, so it, it makes it a little bit tricky with these freaking names. Yes, the poisonous critters. All right, well, let's go and send out some mining teams to find some of those dippalibliblibla, whatever they are. So here we go. Here we are. Ankylosaurus, a barracks. No. No. A lot of these I know, but. Yeah, there you go. Diphosophus. Yeah, whatever. Them. And let's go get them. I'll send you, which you could do with a rest in a bit, to be honest. But just a rest them costs money as well. So I'm going to send her out. She can do the task on her own. Brilliant. But what I might do is why I'm sending her out to go and get that is go into here, go over to my actual scientists, and I can see a lot of them are a little bit knackered. So I'm going to rest that one, rest that one. Rest him and rest him. Now, yeah, I've got about two million quids at the moment. But the expedition is on its way. Oh, he's unassigned as well, so I might as well rest him as well. There we are. We're resting all of them. I'll rest her when she gets back. Now, you can actually speed up the time as well. So underneath, well, you can sort of see some of them sort of here where I am right now. Um, can I get myself off of the screen slightly? Hmm. Yeah, I can, by just doing that. So, you can see down at the side there, they're very small now, though. Right over at the very far, far, far side, I've got a load of little progress markers. And it's the pickaxe one that's right below my head. You should still be able to see that. Right below me. Oh, no, you can't because of that sort of um, thingy in the way. All right, well, let's see if I can move me. The whole cam set. Let's just move myself 
above them. There you go. Now you can see the pickaxe. The pickaxe is right in that bottom corner, just there. There you go. You can see the pickaxe right there anyway. That's the one that I'm waiting for. All the rest are just that my scientists are asleep right now. There you go. They're all finished being rested anyway. So we should start getting some amber coming back in in a sec. Let's have a look at these fossils anyway. So we've got the stegosaur to actually clear out. So let's just get that cleared. Yeah, and put them all in like that. Chicka boom. And I put this guy on there. And he can do the task on his own. Right, brilliant. We'll get some more amber come back in a minute for those poisonous critters. Um, the pickaxe has just moved up a level. You can see the fossil now doing in, in this corner. Yeah, let's, let's see if I can move myself a little bit higher up, actually. Let's just stick myself right up there. There you go. You can see both of those now. You can see the pickaxe and you can see the fossil. That's probably a better place for me up there right now. Anyhow, so that's done. Dundily and done. Cool, yes. How's my levels coming through? Then check my audio levels. There you are. And the helicopter is back. Uh-oh. What's just happened? Oh, that's my scientist is knackered. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. So if I go and rest that scientist now, let's just go into here. And we're going to rest her. Yeah, there you are. There you are. You can rest. Or does that mean the dinosaur has died? I'm going to slow the time back down and see if we can find out what's just died. Or has got that skull icon. Let's go over here. Anything over here that looks like it's in a stage of death. Oh, there we go. There's a dinosaur that's died inside of this paddock, people. Not that I can see it amongst all this foliage. It's somewhere down here, anyway. There it is. Oh, it's only a little. It's only one of those little dinosaurs. Okay, well, we need to get rid of it, or else it would go manky. And if it goes manky, um, yeah, it could cause a disease to break out. So there we are. That's the only thing with uh, speeding up the time. You can miss something happening. So there we go. I'll get him airlifted out of there, and we should have got some more amber now. So if I go into the amber here. Chicka pow. View fossils. Yes, we've got some we can sell. Get 90 grand for that one. How much are we getting for that one? Another 90 grand. Brilliant. We've got some remaining stego um, uh, or DNA, but that doesn't really matter. So let's get this on the bake. Uh, boom. And one and one. There we go. We'll get all that in. And uh, we'll get that one researched by uh, this chap here. Do it, my friend. Awesome. We've got some remaining stego to go. But anyway, let's uh, let's pick this one up and let's send out another one. Now, you only get one of the, each dinosaur in here. I won't find another one of those dillos in there. But if I go into here, I should find one of the dillos in here. I'm just going to call them dillos. Uh, there we are. But the poisonous creatures, dillos. That's what I'm calling them. Let's just keep looking for dillo. And it, there you go. Dillo. There we go. We've got dillo. There we are. Let's go send that out. And can this guy do it on his own? He can indeed. Of course. Go, diddly, go. Fly like the wind, my little pretty. Right. So I'm going to keep doing this until I've got enough DNA to put one of those poisonous critters into uh, one of my little um, places. Oh, it looks like another creature just blinking perished somewhere. Oh, no, it's just taken ages to get that one out. There we are. Hopefully that will clear that marker. I don't think anything else has died. Or else it would say more than one, I'd imagine. Go on. Yeah, hopefully there's no other dead dinos around. Let's have a look to see if there's any others. I think it is just that one. Hopefully there's no other dead dinosaurs in my park. But yeah, in here, if I go over here now, we should see that poisonous critter is at 26%. If I keep getting more amber, hopefully that'll go over the 50%. Once it's over 50%, I can start bringing those creatures into my park. Heck yes, I can. The only thing is, last time I brought these little creatures into the into my park, they smashed the fence immediately. They all had rabies. They went all over the blinking shop and they caused havoc. I hope that doesn't happen, people. Anyway, I'll reconvene when I can start putting them inside of the hatchery. I'm just going to send out for more amber. Oh, there's a fight between two Triceratopses. Let's have a quick look at these guys. Yep. Can I... um? Hide the dinosaur statistics. Oh, we've got to fight, 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 fight. Go on. Freaking. Uh, I said fight. There's not much of a fight, is it? They're just staring each other down right now. Uh, I suppose we'll just have a cup of tea then until they lock for them. Go on. Okay, well, at least just run away. That wasn't much of a freaking fight. Oh, we've got another fight, though. Between Stegos, I think. Yes. Oh, Slapperjack in the freaking head. That was a bit, that was a bit tasty, wasn't it? It's all kicking off in the park today, people. I guess. Lovely cup of tea, by the way. Oh, 
my mm. lovely merch mug. Yeah, it could be yours. Just head over to the merch store. Oh, God. Wondering what brand of tea I have. I have my own brand of tea that's on the bake. It's been over with the old um, scientists that make the brews for a while. However, I usually have Tetley when I'm not having my own brand of tea, people. Or Yorkshire tea. Either way, that's a good brew. That's actually Tetley in that mug right now. I've run out of my own brand of tea. I've got to wait until they've put it on. Ooh! Fossil expedition is done! Right, so we've got some more of this on the go. Ah, I've got the Stegosaurus just finishing off. So, yeah. Anyway, people, I'll be back with you in a bit. Yeah, I just thought I'd bring you that lovely little fight. Well, people, that didn't take too long. So if I go over to my hatchery now and go over to here, I should be able to pick on up those poisonous critters. Oh, they're 100%. Freaking awesome. OK, well, let's put them in. Now, we've got to actually get a decent batch of eggs. It looks like it's going to happen fairly quickly on this one. So, you know what, I, I might... I'm not only going to do one batch. I do one batch because it looks like there might be a batch size of eight coming in, which is more than enough for this small little enclosure if all of them are successful. It's very rare that all eggs are successful. So here we go, let's go on in, let's see what we've got. Oh, OK. Well, out of that batch of eight, we only got one real viable egg, and these two have got plus stats right across the board, and they even bring in a new skin. Freaking awesome, why the fudge not? So we're going to get three of them. I think that's probably enough for that small enclosure. Lovely jubbly. And we're going to be starting the task with this guy again. Awesome. That's only going to take 46 seconds of real time. However, I can speed that up. But then saying that, I've got some stuff going on. It looks like I've got some sort of creature to diagnose. Where are you, creature, to diagnose? There's probably a quicker way of finding these than I... Oh, let's see if I can do it by going to the map. There we go, over there. OK, so there's something happening here. Oh, this guy looks proper injured. OK, right. Um, how can I... Is there a quick menu to fix these guys as well? Show dinosaur statistics. Hookworm, deliver to facility. Paleo medical facility. All right, OK, fine, I can do that. Mm, it's a shame I can't just assign them to come and pick him up. All right, well, um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to assign my helicopter to go and put him to sleep. Where's my helicopter? I haven't done this for a blinking while now. Helicopter, helicopter, where are you? Ranger team, capture team at base. There it is. Add a task. And I want to add the task of you capturing this guy. Uh, where's he gone? He's somewhere amongst these bloody trees. Yeah, there you go. Trank him. Go trank him. There we are. So I'm getting fairly good at doing all the automation. It's very rare that I actually take control of something now. I just sort of, you know, do it through the menus. It's pretty cool. I mean, you can do it first person if you really want to get involved, which yeah, works. Come on. Where are you, helicopter? Where is it? Oh, it's on its way. It's just taking its time. There it comes. Like um, a thunderhawk, but it's shitter, really, isn't it? Yeah, dum da dum 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 No, that's Indiana Jones. I don't know the thunderhawk music. It's probably got you guys at home, though, freaking whistling it or humming it or whatever you want to do. Well, you know, whatever. Right, so come on then. Trank the guy. Now, I'm shite at shooting dinosaurs. Doing it this way, they, get, they, they, they do it very quickly. Here you go, let's zoom in for the action. Get him! Get him, Danny, get him! Right, so he's now asleep, or should be. There you are. And now what I should be able to do is airlift this guy, transport, and then I should be able to take him to a paleo medical facility. Just there. And I'll have this guy look at him. And probably somebody else, actually. So, this person... Let's get it to a seven. There we are. Don't want to overly utilise my scientists. Nice! Look at that's That's on its way. Um, so now what? What have we got to do now? Oh, I should get back to doing my fossiling or whatever, shouldn't I? Oh, no. I can, um, I can go check on my eggs. I can go check my eggs, which were in here. And look, they're ready! Thank you! And release. OK, this is where it could go terribly wrong. Oh, before I release them, let's make sure we've got food in there or else they might just go mental. 
Right, so here we are. This is the expensive stuff I didn't want to put in, so we need to put that in. And they really do like to hunt these guys, so I'll put that in as well. And I'll put another one there. And just in case they're lazy, I'll put one of those in. Okay, I think that should make these guys happy once they come out, which we're going to let them out right now, and we're going to get ourselves a nice little animation. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Release! <laughs> Love it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now it says that they're lonely, but as they go around their confines and they find each other, and they find that they've actually got forest, they should be quite satisfied with this. You know, I, I think they're fairly good. So you will see their comfortable level go up. At the moment, it's at 74, but as they discover their their actual habitat, look, it's gone up to 75. I've, I've got a good feeling that that's going to go fairly high. Um, it probably won't hit 100. They probably need a little bit more tree coverage with forests, so let's just zoom out. Let's just give them a little bit more forest. I don't really like putting the forest in the water. If I can help it, I'll put it over this end, but that should do the trick now. That should definitely make them super happy as Larry in there. They should be cool. All right, again, that's all done. There's an observatory there that actually covers all of this area as well. I could put another observatory in, but for now, that blink can do. So that's them in. And you can see here, my operatives are now at 133, all the way down at the bottom there. Earlier, that went up to 140. Now, I think at night time, some of the actual park residents go away and then some come back. So I'm hoping to see that flu fluctuate up a little bit. Okay, so we've got this guy inside this paddock here. Is he okay now? Um, I think he's, he's still getting his treatment. He's not quite fixed yet, I don't think. Oh look, we've got, a, we've got a treatment counter down there, the medical one. It's nearly halfway through. So that's all good, we've got that on the go. There's no more fossil records to be had for that one. Should I put a T-Rex in here? Should I get a T-Rex? I think I should. So if I want to get a T-Rex, it's a case... I've never had a T-Rex before, this is going to be a first. And it's probably going to be the last, to be honest, because if this thing escapes, it's probably going to completely destroy my park. Um, so this is really risking it. Like I say, I've been doing this for a couple of hours now. T-Rex probably isn't the best thing to go for, um, but I'm feeling brave. So here we go. There's T-Rex DNA. Let's go get some T-Rex DNA then. We'll send him out. Oh, we've got to get it up to 13 for a T-Rex. I think this is probably a stupid idea, people in the viewerverse. But, you know, I've got to make it entertaining for you guys, haven't I? This is a bit risky. This is a bit risky. All right, well, I'll go get all the amber, and I'll go through the fossil records and extract the amber, and I'll be ready to deliver into you a T-Rex into this paddock here. I don't know whether it's big enough. It's probably going to get super angry. It's probably going to escape, and it's probably going to cause devastation. I'm probably going to seriously regret this. Well, how do there, chums? Welcome back. I've just installed another one of these just outside of this paddock, because it still has view over here. And my operatives went up. So I think it's actually linked to how many people can view the places. So if I was to put another one around here somewhere, chicka boom. Hopefully that's going to give us a better viewing circle and it might, might, up my operatives yet again. So if I connect it into there, let's see if that puts up my operatives as well after it finishes building. So I'm now on 143, but putting one here, hopefully it's going to capture this area. I've got one in here for this paddock. What's the viewing area on that? Yeah, so that's, that's captured quite a fair chunk of it. Can I zoom out? So where I'm missing one right now is around here. So let's put in another one here. Kaboom. And if I connect that over to here, let's see if I can connect it to there. Yes, I can. Lovely jubbly. I'm hoping to get the optives up to 150 without having to bring in the da dangerous T-Rex. Although this paddock, I think, is going to be big enough for a T-Rex. When I look at this, okay, and I'm looking at T-Rex, it says they're open space, only 14%. So I don't think it needs a massive paddock. If I'm reading this right, I think it might be okay. It needs 74% of forest. 
needs some prey and it also needs some sand. So I need to get that ready inside of here. So I need to get some sand in here. I'm still going to bring in a blinking T-Rex, even if I hit that 150 people. So, yeah, you've got that to look forward to. Right, so here we go. Let's uh, let's put in a load of sand here. Let's try and make that a bit bigger on the old radius. And let's get a load of sand in under this first area here, because it likes a bit of sand. Get some sand in. There we are. And then... I'll do up to about there, so it's half sand. In fact, if it likes sand, sod it. The whole whole paddock can be blinking sand, mate, apart from maybe that top corner over there. All right, okay. Now, it's probably going to need um, some prey inside of there as well. It's going to need some food that it can chase down. I'll put in some meat anyway. I'll put some meat right by the water here, and we'll put in a goat. I'll put a goat over uh, there. Kaboom! And we put another goat, uh, another goat just about there, I think, people. There we go. And then we need a little bit more forest because it likes a lot of forest. So we get a lot of this, this covered over here because there's lots of room there where I can get forest in. Lovely, lovely forest. And yeah, that should do the trick for my T-Rex. I think that's going to make him happy once he arrives. And let's go check on the old amber. We've got a load of amber. Oh, it's nearly done. You can see that little pickaxe below me there. Oh, something just died. We've got another blinking creature that just died. We can use the map for that. So there we go. What have we got that's dead? Meow. Oh, we've got this guy. It's a Stegosaurus that's died this time. All right, well, let's um, let's go get that airlifted out of there. Yeah, remove the Stego. And you know what? We've had a couple of Stego deaths. So let's get a couple more Stegos on the bake then. How many? We've only got three in population right now. So we get that on the go. Uh, yeah, we'll get him in to do the stegos along with this guy. There you are. Go on. You can make some stegos there. Sweet. Okay, what's going on there? Oh, we've got the T-Rex DNA. It's just arrived. There we go. We put in eight. Oh, no. Let's do six and six. Oh, we can't do six and six. Hold on one second. If I go... where Where is that? I might have an upgrade that might let me do something gnarly. So you get these that you can plug in. Fossil storage plus six. Cheaper research. Well, let's try putting that one out and it go for extraction capacity. It's going to cost me a million. But now let's go in and let's see if I can do the whole freaking bundle. Heck yes! Freaking joy of joys. All right. Um, we still can't do the whole bundle. In six and six, let's take a six out and put the eight in. There we go. And we're just shy now. Let's get that on the way. Start. Oh, we're getting close to getting ourselves a T-Rex. Let's send out another expedition to go get, grab some more amber. Probably going to have to go down another level. Is there a T-Rex in here? Yes, there is. Heck yes. Let's see if we can get 100% Tyrannosaurus Rex, peeps. Yeah, we'll send you along. And we'll have to send... Oh, dear. I'm going to have to send quite a few on this one. In fact, if I take her off and put that guy on... There we are. There we are. A little bit of jiggery-pokery. We're good to go. All right, people. Well, you know the drill now. Sending off Amber, getting rid of dead dinosaurs, bringing in new dinosaurs. Uh, the hatchery should be at the point of almost synchronising the eggs. That's about to go, so let's go and have a look in. Let's see what sort of clutch of eggs we get for the Stegos. Oh, brilliant. We've got that one. And look, that's that's got a, a minus, a minus to stammery recover. That one makes it aggressive. That one makes it a bit aggressive as well. A lot of these are all in blues, though. Affects whole territory if alpha. Okay, but it might it might attack the ranger teams. So you know what? I'm just going to have that one and that one. Just those two. That's it. There you go. Assign scientists. And I'd have you and you. Actually, take you off and put you on. There we go. Boom. Get those stegosauruses out. And that's pretty much it, pretty much, people. Um, that's going to take a little while, but I'll sh show you the animation of the Stegosauruses coming in, yeah? All right, I'll see you for that. Well, people, the Stegosauruses are ready to be released. Let's release them. Chickaboom. Come on, my little Stego friends. Just two. Yeah, but that's all I need, really. You know, there's already three there, so that gives a title of five. Although, we are getting Stegosauruses dying of old age. But they look quite happy in their new enclosure, peeps, don't they? Heck yes, lovely, mm. jubbly. Righto. Well, um, let's go check on the progress of my, my T-Rex. Ah, okay. Research complete. Cool. 
lung and oh brilliant yeah so i've been researching lots of little um creatures on the side there oh well, i missed the actual tab to do that but i'm pretty much done on everything when it comes to research so here we are over here if i go up to this dna splice and over here look pretty much done the whole table the only thing i haven't got is this crocodilian i'm not too sure how to get the crocodiles unlocked um i can't even get over that there you go scale and skin so that's the only one i haven't got yet don't know how to get that release two dinosaurs with the vulnerable trait okay all right well fine um i don't think my t-rex is going to be vulnerable all right here we go let's let's just go refuel that there's a lot of little mini bits of micromanagement to do in this game but you know what it, it's not too bad it's all right to be fair and you get the little icons pop up whenever that's going to happen i don't know about this ranger team that keeps getting restricted access i've flattened all the terrain i've made it easy to get there i can drive there myself so i'm just ignoring that message people if you're wondering all right anyhow so we've nearly got to the point where we got got to get, get this dna back let's just get that pickaxe done you see the pickaxe down there let's just get that done and then i should be able to get the amber and we should be able to start synchronizing the eggs for the t-rex when the amber's actually done people let's see if we get anything gnarly back from this expedition mm, it's nearly there nearly there there's not much else i can do and it's falling into night time and we're on, oh, we're on 148, 140, we were on 149 residents or, or, or operatives. So putting in these things has really helped. It's these things that bring in more operatives. And I'm wondering, once I get a T-Rex inside of this paddock, it's already got one of these viewing platforms in here. So there's a good chance it's going to blink in work, mate. So let's go on over here. Let's go and extract this. It looks like another dinosaur just bloody died or something. Eight and six. Yes, let's get that going. That's going to take a little while to go. We'll get that guy on and he can do it on his own. Nice. And I don't think I've got any more T-Rex DNA to be had. Oh, shite. We've got two deaths. That's not good. What's just died? Is that one of my sailback dinosaurs? I think it is. I think this is one of my sailback dinosaurs. Well, where is he? He's somewhere down here. Death. Where is it? I can't see the dang thing. All right, let's go into let's uh, let's just slow down time because I don't want a disease to break out. Let's go into the map. There we are. Ah, it's one of the lit. It's these little guys. It's these little guys. All right. Uh, right. Okay. So he is. He's he's getting lonely now. All right. Fine. Well, we get we get this guy picked up anyhow. So here we are. They're little scavenger guys that have died. And they don't have long expectancy anyway, so we get him airlifted. And we get this guy airlifted. Collecting asset. Boom. And then what I do is I start some more hatching in here. So they were the little tiny guys, these little dudes, these little dudes down here. Okay, so we get we get somebody synthesizing some more of them. Let's get you on the job and you on the job. There you go. Go on, because you guys have got lots of stamina left. All right, we get them on the bake. It looks like our T-Rex is going to be ready in a bit. Oh, yes. Let's get the T-Rex in the old hatchery, shall we, people? So I'm just waiting for that icon just underneath me there. The T-Rex one, the fossil one, to finish. Chikapow! Fossil extraction completed. Now let's go to here and let's see if our T-Rex is at 100%. He's at 88. That'd do. i do. All right, let's get a couple of people synthesizing this critter. All right, so we need 13, so we've got a 6, we've got two 5s. Uh, we do, we, we do get a 15. I oh, know, we can do 14 that way. There we are, we'll do that. We get all them on it. I'm going to have to rest all my scientists after this, people. Transit. Get that on the go. Synthesizing, one more minute, and then hopefully we'll have some eggs in a bit, people. Okay, we've got one egg. <laughs> and this one says that it's got a very high chance to attack ranger teams. Um yeah yeah we're gonna have him we're gonna freaking have him mate we're gonna have him in okay this um could be the worst decision i've ever made ever um right so six five and a two there we go do it and then i'm gonna have to rest all my scientists before i hatch this creature out into the paddock and uh yeah um i don't know how this is going to go or how i feel about it people inside the view of us but yep that's um that's happening right now so we've got two releases we've got the little critters which are going into here those little guys i'll show you the animation for that and then we've got the t-rex animation to play i'll see you in a mo well chums little scavengers are ready here we go release there we go 
It's tiny. Cool. Brilliant. You can see the T-Rex is taking a little longer. So I'll be back soon. Well, chums, this is interesting. I've just hit the 150 before releasing the T-Rex. So if I go into research and go into Amber, I can now unlock the last mine. Let's get some scientists on this if I can. Oh, I didn't rest any. So there we are. I'm probably going to get some knackered scientists at the end of this. But there we are. We're getting the last level unlocked. Let's see if my T-Rex is nearly ready. He's nearly ready. This is a very risky thing. I might release him once I've got level 4 unlocked, people. Okay. Here it comes, people. The T-Rex. I'm going to release him anyway. I'm going to release him. Here we go. Okay, and he looks like he's quite comfortable at the moment. Um, it's forming territory. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can make him... Because the last thing I want is for him to just break out of here. Well, he's found the food. He likes the sand. This is good. Okay, he's checking out the water. Is that enough water? There's enough water. He's happy with the water. The area's good. Oh, that was my main concern. He's getting happy with the amount of forest. Okay, it's gone at 65. Come on. The prey should be good. I mean, I put in, what, three goats, maybe? Maybe I need to put an extra goat in there. Let's get an extra goat in there. Um, there we go. I want him to be happy, this dinosaur. Otherwise, it could put my high park at risk. 100% perfect! Freaking awesome! Okay, right, people. I need to go look at this other amber mine and start getting some amber on the go. But before I do that, I'm going to rest all my scientists for a job well frickin' done. So rest, 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 rest. And rest. I might as well rest you as well. We've got a couple that are... Oh, no, we've got them all, all free at the moment. Right, once they're all rested, I'll be right back with you, people. Well, people, some of my Saddleback-type dinosaurs, the Dime Bar ones, died, so I had to make some more. So let's release these little critters. Here we go. I do love these animations. They never get old. They're freaking awesome. I'm surprised my T-Rex hasn't caused havoc yet, people. Aren't they wonderful? Look at him. Lovely jubbly. I thought I had two on the go. All right. Um, maybe there's another one. Um, okay. Um, oh, yeah, there is. There is. And there's another one. Pow! Oh, hold on. Oh, what's going on there? Ready for release. Ah, I selected the wrong thing. <laughs> Did I get two in this one or just one more? I think it's just one more. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> Brilliant. Like I say, they never get old, do they? Oh, there's been an update to this game. Apparently they've added in a load more sea creatures, but I haven't got it. haven't got that far into the game yet to take advantage of that new stuffage, people. Dead dinosaur? Where? Where's another dead dinosaur? Okay, I've got some more of these on the go as well. They're all dying of old age right now, people. So, yeah, let's, let's get that one airlifted out. Goodbye. And that's that one gone. I've got some more happening right now inside of there. You can see that the eggs are pretty much on en route. And I've got a whole batch of those on, on par to come out of the actual place. Um, I've built another enclosure just here. And that's for the feathery kind of ones. So I sent out some more DNA harvesting for this guy. 99%! Hold on. That's a bit dodgy. I don't think I've got any more fossils for that. One second. 
Oh, I do. I do. I do. Okay, cool. Now I should get it up to 100%. That's going to take two minutes. Then I can release those. And then I think I'm really close to completing this mission. Hook your ass. Yeah, da, 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 da. I'm a dinosaur. I'm a dinosaur. Yeah, I know it's a little bit early to be celebrating. All hell could break loose. But I think I'm getting close. Because you see that sort of like mission thing down there? I've already done the top one, the Dread and Nautius. That's already done. The Therizinosaurus. That's the one that's 99%. It should be 100 very soon. And then the last one is the Gigantosaurus. You know what? I need to make an enclosure for the Gigantosaurus. And I'm thinking this gigantic area down here. It looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but freaking bigger, if that's even a thing. I've never heard of a Gigantosaurus. I think they're making shite up now, people. But I'm going to put a gate there. I haven't shown you me building an enclosure. And these are invisible gates. Let's zoom on in and let's uh, let's start making the paddock for this thing. Here we go. It hasn't got no electricity right now. I know it's going to grumble about that. I need to stick in a hatchery. So I'm going to put a hatchery in around here, I think, people. So here we go. Hatchery. I'm going to get a hatchery in. Now let's spin that around. I put it on this corner down here, I think. There we go. We put it there. Chicka pow. And then go back to the old gates. Let's get that connected. Make yourself connected. You need your invisible walls. I know. I've got a voice of an angel. It's, it's one of my many skills is singing. Um, it's debatable. It is up for debate. I might put a power supply somewhere there. So let's just dip that in. And let's nick it around the back here. And yeah, this is going to be quite a large enclosure for this Gigantosaurus. I'm going to leave some space down there. Just in case, yeah, path is not connected. Fine. I'm going to have a little area for a path all the way around the side there. And room for power. And, and this is going to be the biggest dinosaur. And I think this is going to complete the mission. So let's uh, let's just get that all connected up. Pow! Done, dilly and done. So we've got the gate up here. I need to get something in here to make sure that we can view this whole area for this enclosure. So I think that gives us the widest coverage in there. Let's get that connected over here. It's all about connecting stuff. Now let's make sure the path is connected. So here we are, path. I have put that around the right way, haven't I? Yes, I have. Oh, we've got another dead dinosaur. Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay. Then again, yep, he's finished. Okay, cool. Well, I think I can get the egg underway for the fizzy, yeah, gizzy, uh, whatever he is. There he is, Furzy. There you go, Furzy. You can jump into there, mate. Oh, that, that's well over, but that'll do. He's on the bake. Coolio. Nice. And that's going to be in that enclosure. Where's that big enclosure that I've just made? It's this one here, isn't it? Okay, well, let's have a look at the Gigantosaurus. Let's see what the Gigantosaurus needs. There he is there. Right, so he needs lots of forest, lots of open space, lots of prey, a bit of water, not much. And he doesn't like much, to be honest. He doesn't want to share his enclosure with nothing. Well, we've got water in there already. We've already got quite a fair bit of forest. Did he like sand or anything like that? Is there any other... No, water, yeah, that's cool. Forest, open space, it's got lots of that. It's just the prey that I need to add now, people. And also a ranger's den. I would not like to be the ranger going inside of here, people. I really wouldn't. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, get the ranger in, in the ranger area. So I'm probably going to have to put one about there. And it's probably going to need a second one because this is a giant enclosure. Probably somewhere around... Yeah, maybe. Oh, no. That'll probably do, actually. Um, hmm. Actually, I'll put in a second one. All right, cool. Let's assign a ranger into here. Add ranger team. Chikapow. And another ranger team. Chikapow. Okay, so we've got ranger teams checking out this area already. And that's going to be the area for our gigantosaur. It looks like we've got another dead dinosaur. Dum dum dum. What's died now? Okay, that's not good. What what is that? That's one of my triceratopses, I think, isn't it? Oh, it's an ankylosaur. That's the first of the ankylosaurs to perish. I'm gonna get rid of him as well. All right. Well, I think these are about ready to release. Let's release them. Animation time again, people. Brilliant. I'm a dinosaur, I'm a dinosaur, I'm a dinosaur.
Oh, I would break out the harmonica, but from my noise gate, because I'm a harmonica now. Okay, there we are. We've got those little critters in. There you go. That will replenish all the dead ones. Oh, I'm saying that. There's another dead one. Oh, no, I've already, I've already got that one on the way. So that's one of them that's going out. Okay, cool. And we've just lost an ankylosaur. I don't know whether I want to bother with making another ankylosaur. Okay, and we're running out of fuel over here. Right, let's get that sorted then. Resupply. Asset being transported. Chapao. And we've got the DNA in here. Sweet. Oh, we've only got one egg. One egg. All right, that's okay, because these are quite solitary. You only need one or two of these. Put any more of them in there, and they kill each other. So there we go. We want that one. Oh, I haven't got enough bloody monies. I'm two, mil two million to hatch that one. All right, fine. Okay, well, what I would do then is I'm going to send these guys out for some more of that Gigantosaurus type DNA. Let's see if we can find some more of that Gigantosaurus DNA. No, none there. Let's see if we can get Gigantosaurus. There's Gigantosaurus. Let's go send that out. Send them. Go, go, go. Fly, dilly, fly. And I'll be right back with you once I've got enough cashola and once I've got enough of the amber extracted. Welcome back. Okay, well, I'm going to be releasing this guy. Here we go. Never seen this animation. How big is he? Oh, he's big. Oh. <laughs> and this is a herbivore. Very cool. So I've only got one of them, but there you go. That's ticked off that list. The only thing I need now is the Gigantosaurus. And we've got the enclosure. You saw me build that. It's this one down here. Let's go into here then and let's see what we need to make the Gigantosaurus. Hold on. He's only at 75%. Why is he at 75%? I don't think... I can get any more DNA for the Gigantosaurus, so what the fudge is going on? How the heck am I supposed to get a... Ah, hold on. He's not a feathered species, so I don't think I need him up to 100%. I don't think. Is he feathered? I don't think he's feathered. So I think we just need the Cashola, which I'm a slightly shy of the Cashola right now. Let's get that sped up a bit. Let's get that underway. I think I've got some eggs on the way to hatching for another feathered variety over here. How are they getting on? They're nearly there. 30 seconds until they can get done. But yeah, I can show you that sort of little animation. Not so long now, people. Yeah, 10, 9, 8. That's going quicker than normal. Right there. Let's uh, jump on in. Let's go and release those. Release the hounds! Feathered variety. Sweet. They're quite cool, aren't they? Like feathered raptors. Oh, another dinosaur's bloody dead now. Punch in the heck, they keep dying. Um, which one's dead now? Let's have a look. Okay, so it's one of these. What is that? It's an Ankylosaurus. All my Ankylosauruses are getting near to end of life. I have set out um, an expedition to get some more Ankylosaurus amber because I haven't got many other cool dinosaurs to unlock. So once I get all the amber done for the uh, Ankylosaurus, because I've got a bit more there, there we go, boom, get that underway. I might make some more Ankylosaurs, but I don't think I'm going to bother featuring them in the video because you've kind of seen that a million times. Oh, 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 is this the enclosure? That's not the big enclosure, is it? It's this one. This is our big enclosure. Here we go. We can start the research into this Gigantosaurus. Ooh. I need to rest some of my scientists. We need to get it up to 11. I can use you. Mm, actually, let's, uh, let's go for a 6 and a 5. Now, I'm going to have to rest these scientists in a moment. You know what? I'll, I'll rest you. Oh, no. I better not rest too many or else I'm going to run out of blinking cashola, aren't I? There we go. we get that underway. Synthesizing. It's all about balance, this game, isn't it? It's all about balance or else you fall into chaos. As we keep getting reminded by that other chap all the blinking time. Right, so we've got a little way on that one. Did I slow the time back down? I did. Um, I've got a fair bit going on at the moment. I could send out some more expedit. No, because I don't want to waste any money. I'm going to need a lot of money to get the eggs for this Gigantosaurus. And that's the last tick box. And I'm hoping, hoping there's no other objectives after that. I'll reconvene in a mo. Well, I sped up the time, people. And I've got it ready for incubation. Let's select the eggs. 
Now, I don't know whether these are solitary creatures. Should I go for two? It's going to cost me a freaking arm and a leg if I go for two. It's going to cost me three million. I think we only need the one. Which is the best one out of these two? I think they've got exactly the same stuff happening there. So, yeah, we'll just go for the one, and I need a million squid licks. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this up for a million squids then. Righto. That shouldn't take too long. Now, what I could do, technically, is start firing a load of my scientists. Yeah, I could get rid of some of my scientists. I don't know which ones yet, though. Uh, that, that one's quite well rested and quite well rounded. We get rid of these guys at the bottom, I think. Here we go. Let's um, fire you. Save a bit of money. Fire you. Yes. Um, fire. Kaboom. And we'll fire you as well. There we go. That should save me a bit of money. Uh, we keep these guys for now, even though some of them are a little bit tired. But hopefully that will be enough to hatch this dinosaur. That should save me a bit of money. Hopefully we're going to see that going up. There we go. 9,000. Uh, 900,000. And hopefully we're going to hit the million mark in a moment, people. There's a million. How much did we need to hatch this guy? We needed... Let's go and have a look. 1.7 million. All right, I'll be with you once we get this 1.7 millions. We have hit the 1.7 million. So let's go and have a look see if we can do this now, people. Heck, yes, we can. Boom. Sign the scientists. I need to get an 11 out of here, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. That should do the trick. Boom. <laughs> I, I, I dread to think how big this guy is. It's got six minutes. Six minutes, though, and I have got it on super speed time. So I'll be right back. Well, chums, the moment of truth. Let's release the last beast. Boom. And will I complete the mission? More importantly, how big is this guy? Oh, he looks cool. Wow. Your team has been destroyed. Well, that's a first. What destroyed them? Okay, let's um, let's go and have a look. I think we're done anyway. That's I think it. we've done the freaking we increase total dinosaurs to seventy-five. As as all right. It can support everything you want. The choice is all yours. Yes. Replace well, that range ours. truck. The choice is ours. Really? Yeah. Okay. It looks like we've got a problem really? down there. We wouldn't be it's like um, it needs medical assistance. Right. Well, where's the nearest ranger next. hut inside of here? Is that a ranger hut? You know, I don't I'd think like so. to see what this facility is really. Where's the ranger of? hut in Me here? Too. Bum, 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 bum. I think it can handle There's more one. dinosaurs. Well, and I know if we I can. turned mm -hmm. others to I'm go, proud of go and both. fix that dinosaur. This All right, is lovely. At its and we've got this guy Any in here. Dinosaurs we still need Danger to guests. Let's have a look Let at his needs and see how he's getting on. We've got to make sure we get them all. Well, this he's assessing the territory as yet. I'm fairly sure Once he's going to be lifetime, happy. Right? I've done everything I can to make this critter happy. For us. The only thing that I have done, though, is put power inside of his paddock. Might not have been an intelligent idea. Agreed. Let's keep him on blow him up. Exploding dinosaurs. Oh, we picked up an injury somewhere. Looks like some creatures are fighting increase total dinosaurs to 75 all right so that's all i've got to do now well chums i managed to complete it I, I went and didn't hit record yeah but i've recorded I've, I've, I've done the bio sanctuary it's done it's freaking awesomely done sadly i can't go back and take a look in there can i i don't think anyway it just says continue i completed it it just popped up basically i got all the dinosaurs in and uh yeah that's it. I just released loads and loads of little mini predators and scavengers to get the numbers up. That's pretty much all I've done. Anyway, people, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Money is the one we make, right? Even if it Cut isn't scene. accurate. These dinosaurs are an asset to the world, one we need to share with it. However, we do this on our terms and our timelines. We've done our best for the dinosaurs. And for Biosyn. We did our jobs, and we did them well. This is no time to be looking back. Then we look forward to all the possibilities that we are about to share with the world. To the future of Biosyn genetics.
spearheaded by Lewis Dodgson, oh. Biosyn Genetics ushered in a new era of bioengineering. Yes. Building a utopia for their dinosaur creations. But in the shadows, Dodgson was devising a more sinister plan. They were engineering prehistoric locusts, capable of destroying any crop or farmland not using Biosyn seeds. Doctors Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant discovered their plans and infiltrated Biosyn's restricted research area. They were able to collect the DNA evidence they needed to prove Biosyn's nefarious intent. Attempting to cover his tracks, Dodgson destroyed the evidence, causing a catastrophe in the valley. No! He would meet his own demise as a raging inferno tore through the area, putting all life at risk. Fortunately, most of the dinosaurs were saved and the fire was contained. The valley, however, remains a scorched landscape in need of healing, with Biosyn's legacy left hanging in the balance. Aww. Well, there we go, people. Looks like I'm going to be doing Scorched Earth at some point. Probably just bring you the best bits of that one. Till next time, cheery bye.